Hello, welcome to my Microsoft Power App Program for in-app app challenge demo. In this video, I'll be walking you through my submission. For the challenge, we are asked to create the Soul Style Staff Store app and the Soul Style Boutique app where the customer can um, see the product they want to buy, place an order, check out, and also notify the manager that they have placed an order. For the store staff app of the site, the store staff apps to add to the inventory and also notify the manager that um, he or she has added some new product to the to the inventory and then the last part of the hub is where the manager gets to see the notification of order that has been placed and also the new stock that has been added and also gets to have a dashboard which contains reports of what has been happening at the back end and to also know much about the product that is being placed or which one do we need to stop more and which one do we need to uh, stop adding to the inventory. So let's get straight into it. So I'm going to be putting this in a tablet mode. Yes, so let's get straight into it. So um, so this is the first app for the store staff actually. So I created this with a canvas app. So I have uh, two galleries. The vertical gallery and the horizontal gallery so for the horizontal gallery um i sorted it i sorted it by price in ascending order or is it ascending order now so starting from the lowest to the highest so that is ascending so you will see 15 dollars um it goes it goes on like that to so we'll have um, the highest price on the half i mean at the average which is 200 dollars so you can also search by name so we have comfortable sneakers. So once you search by name, all the products with that name comes up. So we also have eels. So everything on eels comes up, and then we also have flats. Everything on flat comes up. So also um, you can search by color. I mean you can filter by color. So if you write black, everything on black comes up. If you write green, everything on green comes up. And if you write red, everything on red comes up. The last part is where the store staff can now make inventory. Inventory, I mean add to the inventory, which means that they can now stock they have. So um, these are the products that we have currently. And then we like to add more to it. So this is the title. So you can change the number to 1718. So let's assume we want to buy an outdoor boot so the price is um five hundred dollars so the color is red you can still go let's say white and then the product description is a combination of letters and numbers so the category is going to be uh we have a category like boots i i doubt that but let's continue so the product is going to be put and then the discount is going to be half of the list price so once i click on submit the products are here and then once i also click on this to notify the manager the manager receives the notification so you can see this is let me scroll down with the page so this is the outstop boot here that I just added, $500 and white. So let's add one more product. So this time, let's add um, comfortable sneakers. So let's say the price is um, 50 and then the color is green. And then the product will just change some of the numbers change the alphabet so the category is sneakers category sneakers so let's assume this is the tenth this is the sixth sneakers we are going to be adding to this card i mean to this inventory so the price is going to be half of the list price so i click on submit then i also notify the manager so you can see this is the comfortable sneaker right under 
our um, our house stop boot right on that other so it's green it's fifty dollars and then that's the name so you've been hearing you would have been hearing the notification so that's uh, so the notification is what you get when uh, the store staff notifies the manager so you can see notification of a new stock new stock has been added to the card new stock new stock has been added to the card so these are the two new stocks that we just added to the card and also if i go back to um uh, where we have the full overview the, the product um descriptions and all you will see that the comfortable sneakers would have been added let's see so this is the outdoor boot you can see this is the outdoor boot to 50 dollars so the other one will be around here where we have uh 25 dollars let's see $25. Yeah, so this is it here. $25. Comfortable sneakers. So here you also get to see the um uh, this the price slash the original price and then the new price which you get at um 50% off. So um so this particular application will also ask to make it with a model driven app. Yeah, so model driven app is actually another um way to to uh, make your hubs on power hub so this is a model driven app which contains everything that we have on that canvas app so you also get to see the product overview when you click uh, my title so this is the product that we have here so i can scroll down scroll down to pick another one so this is what we have here and um, you can also search and filter you can filter by color you can also search by the name of the product this is our motel tripping app. Yeah, so quickly let's move on to the um to the second app, which is the Soul Style Customer Boutique app. So, um, so I'm going to be putting this on the tablet mode also. Yes. So we have to integrate a power virtual agent to the boutique app so that the customers can always interact first with the um with the with the chatbot or uh, so if they don't understand anything about the app, they can easily reach out to the bot. Yes. Yeah, so um, so let's get straight into it. So let's engage our chatbot. Hello. Hello. Where can I help you today? Um, where is the where is the store? Where is the store located actually? The, so our chatbot is saying the store that boutique is an online store. All you need is to click on continue and start making your order. Okay, let's even ask what do you sell? What do you sell? So we're asking what to what what is the app even about? So he's saying that the Sosta is a boutique um uh, shoe company specializing in high end footwear. We sell boots, male and female footwear, comfortable sneakers, you know, use flats and shoes. So we can also go ahead to say how do I place order? How do I place an order? So for the outdoor I please another it's return. We would like to know more about the choice of your footwear. Is it sneakers? Is it heels? Is it flat? Is it sandals? Is it um shoes that you want to buy? So let's click on um heels. So once we click on heels, let's see what come. Oh, so it gives us a full instruction guide. I mean it gives us a full instruction, the guide on how to grab our placing our hold and all. Oh. So please click on continue to proceed to the home page, search by your choice of footwear, add to the cart and check out. Click on place order and submit, proceed to make payment. Let's see if we can also engage um, a real customer assistant. Can I have the details? Can I can I meet a customer assistant? Let's see if it's going to Okay, so please reach out to Binga, the customer support on this line. Also, oh, it's giving them my number that if you want to reach out to a customer assistant, you can always reach out to um, reach out to him. So let's proceed to um, exploring our boutique app. So we'll click on continue here. Yeah. So you also get to see the products. So you can see the list of all the products that we have on the app. This is the list of all the products that we have on the app. So I just keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. So here you can also filter by color. If you 
write black everything on black returns if you search by red everything on red returns and if you search by green everything returns green if you search by white everything returns right good so let's continue to make our order so here is, um, this is where you get to pick the quantities i'm just going to pick two of this okay let me first clear my cards so you can clear your card by removing um, the products there so i'm going to pick in two of this continue shopping so let's get some sanders yes so let's get one pair of a sander and then let's get a flat good this one pair of this so we can check out so the details appear um come okay, so it's still updating here yeah, so you can see all the details appear here it's appear, all the details is appearing here so this is the sum of the whole this is the sum of all the products even the quantity that has added everything together so we can now start up uh, to make our order so once you click on this all the details appears here and this is where you get to impute your number and then uh Going to be adding green guys. So green guy is the name. I submit my order and then I click to pay. So two examples here. Once you click on submit order and click to pay, it notify one notifies the manager that another has and then another one update our share point where the manager can see that can see the details of the product that, that has been ordered. So I'm going to scroll down so you can see this is the comfortable sneakers. One twenty dollars is thirty seven. Just ask the phone number, and then Benga is the one that placed the order. And then this is the notification of an order. I've just placed an order, please treat as urgent. So, um, let's please let's let's take out uh, okay, let's take elegant standard so you can see elegant standard details appears here. So, let's assume same number, but uh, Becca is the one that's placing the order now. Becca, so click to pay we receive the notification of an order and then once you also go to the share point we should be able to see becca so you can see the guard standards 40 dollars and this is becca right here good so um so we can just take out um so bit flip plus we can just take out these i think we'll go with two orders so um this is actually all for the customer side so you get to see the order total and then um you submit your order and then you can proceed to pay so we also uh required to uh create a web page so i linked my power hub to um a power page so it's just the same process like we have on what is it called like we have on the canvas app so i just linked i just linked down uh, I linked my power hubs, the canvas that I created to my power page. So that is this. I can just continue and check out. Same, same process. Yes, same process. I can remove, remove, go back again to pick whatever I want to pick. So I can pick this, add card, check out. So you can see. Yes, so that's all. Yeah, and the last part um, is the dashboard, which I created. For the manager to have a full overview of what has been happening on the app so you can see we have the sum of order total by full name so this is you can see the the, the amount of order that Benga has placed a product worth all the products that's worth 350 dollars uh john doe everything appears you also have a small summary summary of um, everything that has been happening being accounted for 19.23 percent of some of the total you will also have the full overview here the name of the product has been ordered the year the month the day and then um, the sum of other total is also appearing here the names again and then the sum of quantity we also have the sum of other total and then sum of quantity and this also speaks to the quantity that has been placed by an individual and that's part the quantity of order total by title speaks to which product is actually moving so um if we go up um you will see this is athletic sports shoes so this means that this is what people has been buying the most. this is what people has been ordering the most and then we can also go down to see which one they have not been buying so the urban sneakers is the one they have not been buying it's the lowest here 
so um, does this this actually helps the um it taps it taps the store staff up and the manager to make decision of which which um, product should we stock more which one should we not stock more which one do people want or what why are people even uh why do they prefer this well so it helps them to make decision yes yeah, so um that's all on the on the